Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. According to news reports, Turkish archaeologists have discovered the location of 11 new sites of interest close to the enigmatic site of Gebekli Tepe. The 11 sites, each of which is a large hill, are said to be on a 100 km line around Gebekli Tepe, which probably means they're all within a 50 km radius of the famous megalithic site. And according to the Turkish Culture and Tourism Minister, the area is now being renamed 12 Tepe, meaning 12 hills. Although details about these new sites have not been released, they have been explored and a major study has been completed. Findings will be presented to the world in September, and I for one can't wait. The minister said the area could even be referred to as the Pyramids of Southeast Turkey. And yes, if we have a region with 12 major archaeological sites dating back 12,000 years or more, then it is arguably the world's most important site in the study of post-Ice Age human civilization. The minister continued, When you look at Mesopotamia, this region has a unique culture. It has its own registered gastronomy. It has many products. And when you combine that with its unique archaeological value, it really is a wonderful thing. Gebekli Tepe has been on UNESCO's World Heritage Tentative List since the year 2011. It was discovered in 1963, but major excavation work did not start until 1995. The site dates back to 11 to 12,000 years ago, and it saw human activity all the way through to 7,400 BC. It stands out as one of the most important archaeological sites in the world, not just because of its age, but because of just how big it is, the rich associated finds, and also the truly incredible relief carvings on the dozens of T-shaped pillars. Even today, only a small percentage of the site has been excavated, and now, with today's news, there are a further 11 new sites to uncover. Apparently, the new sites look like natural hills, but experts already know that each one is an artificial mound, implying that standing stones, similar to those at Gebekli Tepe, have already been located poking through the earth. It remains to be seen if they have a similar form, similar carvings and a similar age as Gebekli Tepe, but we can't rule out the possibility that some of the sites could be even older. We already know that a number of Tepe sites have been identified in the region, including Karahan Tepe, Kahin Tepe and so on, and I've done videos on these two sites, which are linked below in the description. We know that these two sites mentioned have been excavated in the past two years, and I expect both of these sites to be included in the 11 mentioned by Turkish authorities. I know Chuck on the CF App 7865 channel has videos on a number of Tepe sites, including Kortik Tepe, Ayan Lahoyuk, and so on. And although the statement says there are 11 new sites around Gebekli Tepe, I expect we do already know about many of them. Links to Chuck's videos are also below. We have to remember that in Turkey, like Egypt, culture and tourism are both grouped together, because the unique ancient history of both of these regions are of course major tourist drivers. News stories do get sensationalised because they are made to drive tourism, as we saw with the discovery of the new lost golden city of Egypt, which was already known about so wasn't lost, wasn't golden and wasn't even a city, being a workers' village of the 18th dynasty. A fantastic site of historical interest, but not the site it was made out to be. In the same respect, although authorities say there are 11 new sites around Gebekli Tepe, I imagine we already know about many of them. But with that said, even if that is the case, I still can't wait for the new study being released in September. It will be fantastic to see the bigger picture, to see how these sites are interlinked, the ages of each site, the associated archaeological finds and so on. Renaming the site 12 Tepe also shows that authorities are already wearing their tourism hats, which is to be expected, especially because of low tourism in the pandemic. 
but I and many others will want to visit this region as soon as possible. And I expect a lot of work will be done in the coming years. A lot of infrastructure will be added to make this site tourism friendly. At the minute, there is nothing more to add, but I'm sure I'll make videos on the new discoveries in September. So please subscribe to Ancient Architects, and don't forget to turn on your notifications. Thank you very much for watching this news update from Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.